Hey, what's going on? It's Ty from uh, the Comic Web. And uh, this is going to be relatively, um, hopefully a short video. I don't know, still might not end up being 10 minutes long. Uh, but I went to St. Louis Comic Con. Um, I only went Saturday. Uh, this is my first, it was my first time going to a Wizard World Comic Con event. So I've been to other conventions, like I went to an anime convention in ASIN in Chicago. Um, little things like that. Well, Asen's not little, but you know what I'm saying. And I just had a blast at this. I loved this way more than I loved Asen. I'm not that big of an anime fan. I mean, I love, like, Dragon Ball Z and that kind of stuff, but I'm not as big as an anime fan as, let's see, some people. So this was my domain. This was a blast. Um, a lot of time was spent in the vendor's hall. Seeing George A. Romero at a panel, you know, was a lot of fun. Stayed there from opening till it ended. And we, I cosplayed. I went with my girlfriend and uh, a good friend, a good friend Ethan. He's like my brother. We went as I went as Spider Man. She went as Spider Gwen, and he went as Peter Parker. But he had like a Spider Man costume under his shirt with like a vintage camera, and so he looked he looked like Peter Parker. I mean, people knew knew who he was. Sorry if you can hear some of the background noise. Um, family's doing some stuff, but I really wanted to get this video out. And I'm going to show you guys some stuff that um, I picked up from the vendor's hall. I didn't pick up a whole lot, but what I picked up I really, really enjoy. Um, so, yeah. First, I'm going to show you this, because this is something that I didn't buy. Um, it was giving. They gave us a free comic book when we walked in, and I absolutely loved this. It's uh, a Walking Dead Issue 1 variant. Wizard World St. Louis exclusive. I got it bagged in a my Mylar sleeve, number one. Walking Dead, and it's got the arch and the courthouse and Rick and Carl um, on it. So this one I'm going to have to probably end up framing. I really, really love this one. And luckily we had some a case with us to protect our comic books because I saw a lot of other people's comics that they got, and theirs was like shot. And this one is just like brand spanking new still. Really love that one. So I'm going to show you what I got from the vendor's hall. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot. Um, I didn't want to spend so much money, but I did get some some awesome stuff. So right now I'm going to go through this little stack of loose books that I got that I've not bagged and boarded. Um, I, a little bit of thing, uh, background, I guess, of me. I adore the Teen Titans. They are one of my, if not, they were my favorite superhero team of all time. I love Dick Grayson, Nightwing, and Robin. And I love the new Teen Titans. That's like my favorite run. So I'm trying to get all of that run. Um, I still have some missing pieces here and there. But I basically have... I have the entire second run, I think. And then I almost have finished the first. There's just some key issues, like number two. And then I can't remember what issue it is, but first Nightwing. Uh, the Judas Contract issue with Deathstroke, Nightwing, and... Um, yeah, so I don't know. That, that Those are more, more expensive books, but, you know, I, I'll get those eventually. But right now I'm going to go through this little stack that I got. And these were just in a dollar, so some of them aren't in great condition, but I'm not caring too much. So this is, I believe these are, these are all from the first run. So that's number 12. This is actually the one that's probably in the worst condition. It's kind of, it's kind of dirty, right, in the white. It's got some creases. Um, a little bit of spine damage. But other than that, I mean, the pages are really nice. Pages are, are probably, are about cream. Um, lighting makes them look yellow but I promise they're not. So that's number that's number 12, and the rest of them are actually in, in, in pretty decent condition for just being in a loose comic box. Um, 13, I'm not gonna go into all of these in full detail. 17, that one looks really nice. 19. Twenty. That one's really nice too. Twenty-two. That yellow, yellow and orange really, really, really pop on this. We're gonna jump all the way up to thirty-two. Thirty-three.
And 35 is the last new Teen Titans issue I got. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to I'll bag and board those. And I will put those away. Um, here are three other books that I got. We're kind of like the, uh, I guess, main books that I picked up. Um, I, first I got... I got these in a bundle. So, um, speaking of, by the way, I went to, um, most of the vendors, they were pretty freaking cool. Um, but there were some that just did not know how to grade books clearly. And I'm not saying that I'm like a perfect grader or that I'm a professional grader, but I definitely know the difference between a 9.0 and an 8.0 and a 7.0. And I mean, for instance, I got this, which is Amazing Spider-Man 252, first black costume in the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, and it's in decent condition. Um, I'll pull I'll pull this one out for you guys. I'll pull all three of these books that I'm pulling out. Like I I, I went through one guy, one vendor, who was grading his at like a 9.0, and his were in I mean they were they weren't in terrible condition, but they weren't you know perfect by any stretch of the imagination. See, that one's pretty, pretty decent. Staples are good, they're, you can't really see it. Staples are good, they're not rusted. Um, but yeah, he, he wanted a lot for just a 252. Now 252 is um, a big point in Amazing Spider-Man, it, it's, it's a big, point in the character, you know, first black suit in The Amazing Spider-Man, but it, it's not, it's not a super expensive book, um, I, I don't think so, at least compared to, compared to most, you know, books like, um, 300, or, uh, First Black Cat, or First Punisher, or the death of Gwen Stacy, you know, it, 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 they're rare. It's rare. It's a rare book, but it's not. It's not that rare. I mean, eBay prices. I found it cheap on eBay, and you know when you find something like a comic book cheap on eBay, that it's not that high. But I mean, one guy was asking like eighty bucks for what he thought was a 9.0, um, but definitely not. But I got this. For a decent price. I'm not saying exactly what I paid paid for them, but like I said, I got these, this, and these other two in a bu uh, bundle. This next one, Amazing Spider-Man 36, uh, Legendary J. Michael Straczynski run. This is the 911 issue. I've been really, really looking for this, but um, couldn't really find it anywhere. You can see the reflection of the camera right there, but I couldn't really find this issue anywhere for a decent price. Everywhere I was going, even like I said, the same guy at the vendor. I mean, he had it marked at. What he had a mark at, like 150, 150, um, and it was a good condition book, but I don't know, maybe I, I am crazy, but that that to me that's just a lot of money for the book. I've I've seen the book go for a lot less for better price, and this is a this is a great conditioned copy. I mean, you know, it's not that it's not that old, obviously, but. Staples are nice, not rusted, but I mean, this is the famous 9-11 issue, you know, and it, it was just, it's just one of those issue, you know, brings a tear to the eye, and it's a big, it's a big, it's a key, it's a key, I, I consider this a key issue. Um, maybe not as far as, you know, it, it's not like there's a first appearance of a character, it's not like, you know, so, like a huge character that we know of died, but it's, it's, it was a big deal. You know, Marvel being set in New York, they, I like that in their universe, they found out a way to deal with it. And it, it, it like I said, if you've never read it, give 36 a read, cause it, you know, it brings, it brings a tear to the eye. It really does. Like this, the villains helping, all the heroes helping, everyone helping during this time of need. Um, so yeah, that that's Amazing Spider-Man 36 of uh, this J. Michael Straczynski run. This next one I'm really excited 
um, about because I've been wanting this book for a long time, but I never found a good price for it. And like I said, I got in a bundle with those two, so I picked it up. This is Amazing Spider-Man 238, first appearance of the Hobgoblin. This is super, super exciting for me that I have this. I, um, I love this character, and I love this cover so much. I love the Hobgoblin. Um, being a kid, I can remember in the 90s cartoon, him being such a... A, a dominant character, a dominant villain that I feel like always came around. Um, maybe I'm remembering, not remembering correctly. He was there quite a bit. But uh, the book's in okay condition. Um, the cover, cover looks real nice. It's just the, the only defect I found really is this little tear right here in the back um, and on the side of the spine. But it's still a good looking book. Uh, pages are kind of cream. Like I said, lighting's terrible in my room. And then, I mean, the color in the book is just great. It's got a lot of, it's rich colors. Sorry, I like pulled my toe, so I did that. One of them. It's got all the, got some rich colors still. I'm trying to find the middle of the book. Where the staples are check out the stapling no damage in the pages at all the pages are real nice staples are good no rust no nothing so I'm really really happy and like I said I mean that cover cover is gorgeous cover pops it's in good good condition so I got those three amazing spider-mans for my amazing spider-man collection for really really cheap like, I, I definitely made a steal on that. And that vendor who I bought these from was really freaking cool. He, I think he saw, like, I was in a Spider-Man costume, saw that I loved Amazing Spider-Man, um, and I love Spider-Man the character. So he, you know, was like, I was looking at, you know, a bunch of books, and he walked up and was like, you know, like, I, I, I'd love to make a deal, you know, with you. And... He, he went to my price, actually. Like, he shot a price, then I shot a price, and he, he agreed. You know, no more arguing. He was happy with the price, I was happy with the price, and I made, we made a deal, and I got three awesome uh, key issues of Amazing Spider-Man, especially the Hobgoblin. I mean, the Hobgoblin, uh, first, uh, Hobgoblin is a very, very expensive book, especially for a decent grade. Like, that's not a great grade, but, I mean, that's, that's you know, that's pretty decent. I was really, really happy I got those three. Um, I was actually looking for um, something else, but I didn't see it at the in the vendors hall anywhere. I was looking for 121 and 122, Death of Gwen, and then the Death of the Green Goblin. I didn't find those, unfortunately. Those were what I was actually hunting for, but whatever. Out of the few co other comics I wanted were the New Teen Titans number one and the 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 um, first Nightwing uh, in the New Teen Titans, but. It was from that vendor who has books so overpriced. He was pricing those New Teen Titans at, like, tens. Tens and 9.0s. And he was asking, like, a hundred bucks. Over a hundred bucks for them. And I was like, you know, no. Sorry. So I skipped on those. Uh, two other things I gotta show you guys. I met Michael Golden, who did is a pretty legendary artist, did some stuff for Marvel, did some stuff for DC, um, and he did some Walking Dead variant covers, which I absolutely love. So what I got, show you one at a time, I got some prints of the covers he did, signed. Um, where's the signature at? Signed right there. And there's a certificate of authenticity in the frame, like in the back, but I'm not going to pull it out and show you guys. You guys are going to just have to take my word for it. Um, so I got this one. I really, really love this one. And then, like, these are going to be hung up on the wall. And then I got myself this one, which is, like, my favorite. This one's freaking sick. There's the signature right there. Rick Grimes slaying some zombies. You know? Ain't a big thing. And then, like I said, these both have certificates of authenticity. Um... And I talked to him for a little bit because he makes some stuff um, on Talking Dead. Talking Dead has some zombie stuff in the background, which he did. Um, he works with the actors and will like make art for them. He had a lot of cool art, but I had to go with these two. 
and he signed them and all that kind of stuff and I got a picture with him and uh, just talked to him a little bit and he was super cool so yeah I just I had a blast I got some awesome comic books and I got those awesome prints for decent for great prices I mean those those like I said I got those three spider-man books for un an unbelievable price probably the price of one of those amazing spider-man books so uh, yeah so I think I will go ahead and sign off here. Uh, I look at the time, it's it's almost 16 minutes, so not as short as I would have liked it to be. But just showing my spoils of Comic-Con and talking about my experiences. Like I said, other than that vendor who just didn't know what he was talking about, <laughs> was it was great. I, I'm going again. I will go again. And I will go to the other ones like San Diego, and I'd love to go to the New York Comic-Con and the San Diego, and probably go to the Chicago, Chicago one, you know. And, um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. I don't think so. Uh, look out for another video coming. I have some videos planned. I'm talking to some friends for some future videos. So, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. This is Ty from the Comic Web, and I'm saying peace.